what's going on with another video uh i didn't really want to make this i was just cruising and i started seeing my gauge go to hot house like what the heck so i turned right here uh as soon as i turned uh, i turned off the truck just to make sure uh it has happened to me but i blew a heater core line but this is not a heater core line uh this time i blew I'll, I'll put the clip right here but uh i did blow a little line so that sucks i'm gonna have to let it go down for a little hopefully it didn't get too hot and take it home and hopefully we can get it running tomorrow if not anyways we got the daily but i don't know why it got hot i was just cruising it and i just seen it and pulled up turned it off so right now i'm like on main so i have to drive ahead good <laughs> probably five minutes home so other than that it sucks but i'll see what i can do go from there okay i managed to get the truck home good thing i always carry some extra cooling with me so i have to go get more but so i'm thinking is that there's a light down here let me get uh, some light down here and show you what I think is the problem because on the way over here it did not overheat I don't know why but I, I think it's that line where I showed you a while ago let me go ahead and put some light and show you again so I'm thinking it's that one right there let me see if it wiggles or something Because, I mean, you can tell where, where it's all wet, but let me go ahead and make sure it's that one because it did get the little plug a little bit wet, but let me go ahead and check something real quick. So, it is that thing, like I was mentioning yesterday, it is this thing, it has a crack under it, so it is licking the coolant. So, it's not, uh, I'm not sure if you've seen that, but it's dripping, it has a little crack, that's why I guess it was leaking the coolant, and it causes it to overheat, I put more, it wasn't overheating, like right now it's not overheating, but once that drains all out, and it will start, so I'm gonna, right now I'm gonna go to O'Reilly's and see what that part is called, and see if they have it in stock, and hopefully we could buy it, I'm not sure. If it's a one-piece thing, or you have to buy the, the the hose that goes to the what is it the reservoir tank to here to the heater core. So I'm gonna see how that works. But other than that, we'll check here in a bit. Okay, so we got this line. Hopefully, it's the right one. Hopefully, because every time I go to Riley's, I always get the wrong parts. Uh, so right now I'm gonna. In the hood, it's already open. I'm gonna test it out, and hopefully, it's the right one. But because of, it looks a little bit different than that one, but I mean, as long as it works, it works. As you can see, how that one has that, this one has the same thing. But I think it should be good. So it's this one that goes there, then it goes down. That little one right there. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Then that one goes all the way to the heater core. So hopefully I'll show you once I take that one off. But I'm probably not gonna do this today. I'm probably gonna save it for tomorrow's video. Well, do it in the other one, but uh I'm gonna have to take it off and I'm gonna have to get more coolant because I'm gonna drop it off. So just put oh, whole new coolant and go from there but I'll be doing that and saving it for tomorrow but I'll catch you here in a second okay so right now I just decided to take it off so that one's already loosened this one's loosened I just gotta take that one but that one's not matching this one so I'm gonna take it off to make sure because like I said I think I got the wrong part again so just to make sure I know I'll when I was over there, I knew something was up with this, but I was like, I'll just take it, I'll return it here. But you're also going to need this tools. The reason I have this tools is because 
this one busted on me last time the little one from the inside and i have that replacement with me just in case if it ever happens but you're gonna need this tools i think it's this one and just push it from the inside pop it and it comes out so but like i said i think it's the wrong tool and i'll show you where it's looking here in a bit so i'll go from there okay it is the next morning now and as you can see the last clip uh, i was telling you this is the wrong part but it's actually not the wrong part because i mean everything i mean hopefully everything does but this looks different but the only difference was the this connection as you can see right it doesn't have that plug where you plug it yeah you would have to do something but i remembered this is a new one that i, I bought an extra but <coughs> <coughs> this one i have one in extra this is the the one I had and I remember uh, because this is the same plug that I broke on me last time because they were uh, made out of plastic so basically I'm gonna put this one that's why I got the little clamps this one's so basically this one I'm gonna take it out and this one is gonna go in there just like so then I'm gonna put the clamps make it flush and plug it in and hopefully everything goes good but I'm still gonna have to buy coolant so uh, we'll see when we pick that up but <clears throat> I'm gonna have to get the whole coolant because uh it did drop all of it uh, anyways it's better have new coolant all brand new so right now I'm gonna open this one's tighten it make sure it's good then from there gonna get the old clamps put them there and hopefully everything's good and i'll catch you either once i go get the coolant or go from there well i'll show you once i have this back on here in a bit okay just like so as you can see now i got the plug and i did use two just to make it a little bit more stronger don't tighten it too strong but it's not going to go anywhere hopefully not but i did try forcing it out and it's not coming out so it should be good right now i just have to take those and when just those two for there and there and that one's good as you can see this one basically it's the same thing just this one i guess it works different it's clamped different but i mean they do the same thing as you can see so that's what I realized at the end that I had one of those and I was like oh shoot it might work and it's the same thing so I mean so if you're having the same problem this one just have that and I'll show you the part number right here not sure if you can see it right there that is the part number right there five zero zero four seven three eight so that is a part number for 03207 classic Chevy Silverado. So right now I'm just going to move those clamps and put them on there and we'll throw it back on. Well, we got it plugged in. That one just clips on. So you, you can hear the clip when it clips on. Got the bottom one. Then we got this one. The one that connects to the tank. The coolant reservoir so this one goes down here over here to a y then it goes over here and there we go just finished cleaning this this the cover for the intake so right now i'm gonna put it back on as you can see it was all covered in coolant so i'm gonna throw this back on and probably run to a store and get some coolant from there <laughs>